I think the urgency now comes in as a direct result um, of leading Israeli government figures, including Netanyahu, saying quite clearly they don't support a two-state solution, that they think that Israel has a right to self-determination, but the Palestinians don't, which I think is unconscionable. And I think we've got a responsibility now to say, hang on, this isn't the gift of a neighbour, this is the inalienable right of Palestinians, and we, the international community, are going to work not only to recognise a Palestinian state, but to work with the Palestinian Authority to build and realise the hopes and dreams of the Palestinian people. Because we've got now to set out, you know, the, the two alternatives. The alternative to Hamas and showing that there is a brighter future for the Palestinian people without Hamas, but also the alternative to the one-state solution proposed by leading Israeli figures, which I think is not only unconscionable in terms of the Palestinians, is also a direct threat to Israel's democracy mm. and freedom and security. So I think there is, uh, there is a clear mutual interest here, and I think lots of the peace camp in Israel would agree with that. But we now need to work around the Israeli government because they have shown very clearly they are not partners for peace, the current Israeli government.